Hi everyone, Chris here again. Welcome back to another vlog. And today what we're going to be doing is looking into what's coming up for the Premiership, for the Championship, for all of the football leagues that are going to be kicking off from next week, what you can expect and how you can expect to make money from them as well. So, it's always a great time, the football season. We've had the World Cup over the last few months, which has been great. There's been horse racing and other events, tennis throughout the summer. But the football season, it really is the one for match betting offers. There are loads of them. There's loads of opportunities to make money. I'd say it's the bread and butter of your match betting calendar. So what you'll find is that more and more offers will be trickling in over the next week or so and then they'll really sort of ramp up once, once the season actually takes off. Uh, but let's see what's out there for now. Now, as always, the Profit School team have been looking around, sourcing the best offers, and it's early days and there's not too much out there at the moment, but there is a couple here that you can jump on right away if you want to. And those are the William Hill offers. So we've got two that I wanna bring your attention to that I think are worth completing. Firstly, we've got a bet on the outright winner of the Premier League. And that basically is going to be where you place a £20 bet on who you think will be the overall winner of the Premier League. And then every time that that team wins in the month of August, so that's probably going to be about three, four games for most of the teams, every time they win, you get a free £5 bet. So you're really betting on two things here, who you kind of think will win, but also someone you think is going to get off to a good start, win hopefully all of their games or most of them, getting you the free bets. Then we've also got a similar bet here, which is basically exactly the same thing, but it's just on who you think is going to be the highest overall goal scorer at the end of this season, again in the Premier League. And that's exactly the same thing. We're betting for the whole season, but whenever that player scores in August, then you're going to get a free bet. So let's check those out and see what a bet on those markets would actually look like. So firstly here, we're looking at the outright winners on William Hill. They're offering a wide range of odds from Man City, the strong favourites here, um, all the way down to Cardiff and Huddersfield. And what I'm really thinking when I'm looking at this is, yes, it would be good to win this outright bet, but basically it doesn't really matter who wins outright because we're going to back it here and then we're going to lay it at a betting exchange. And we're basically hoping that by doing that, we just are qualifying for the offer and that we're going to get those free bets coming in. So this isn't a completely risk-free offer. It's not guaranteed what's going to happen. But if we pick a team like Man City, we're probably going to see them winning a few games in August. So we're probably going to get some free bets at least. And for the sake of the qualifying loss that we might incur, that's probably going to be worth it, I would say. The main thing to bear in mind here is that the higher the odds you choose, the more liability that you're going to have to temporarily float in the betting exchange. And also you're going to have to float that for the whole of the football season. Unless you want to go ahead and cash out early, which might be worth doing, but again, that's very situation specific and you should bank on the fact that you're probably going to have to float this for the whole football season. So by going for something with lower odds and the bet amount of £20, which is what it says you need to qualify for the offer, we're going to find that our liability is not too high. And if you've been match betting for a little while, you've locked in some nice profits, floating sort of £20-£30 at the exchange uh, up until about next May, which is the end of the football season, isn't really going to be a big deal for you. So what I'm going to do is have a little look on the exchanges now for this market and see what the lay odds look like and see what sort of potential matches we could get. So I've got it up here on Betfair uh, and I'm also going to have a look at it here on Smarkets as well. Um, we can see Man City to lay at 1.79, at the moment 1.67, 
on uh, William Hill. That's not a ridiculously close match. Um, if I have a little look on my calculator, and uh, we got 1.69, was that right? Yeah, 1.67 and 1.79. 1.79. If I was to do that, that would be uh, floating 15 pounds for this bet for the whole year, as I mentioned, uh, losing one pound 77 or so. Um, so not a bad qualifying loss as well. Uh, having a little look at the other teams, the options, I'm only really looking, as I said, with the ones that have lower odds. Liverpool at 5.2 there. Liverpool at five here. So that's not too bad. That's going to be about the same sort of qualifying loss, I guess, but with a higher um, liability. Okay, that's a little bit better, actually, apparently, 1.56. And then, of course, you can look at this market on um, Smarkets as well, and you'll see pretty similar lay odds at the moment to Betfair, but, of course, you're paying that lower commission there as well. Um, so again, completely up to you, depends on how much liability you want to float. What I would probably do is uh, have a look at Man City or, or Liverpool, really. Uh, and then if you know a bit about football, you might want to have a look at the upcoming fixtures. Um, I've just got them here. And just see who are they playing first. So Liverpool's first game is West Ham. Um, where is Man City? I can't see them on this page, but maybe they're on the later match. Oh, Man City, Huddersfield. So that Man City are probably going to win there, I would guess. But then Liverpool versus Brighton is their next game. They're probably going to win. Liverpool versus Leicester, that might be a tough one for Liverpool. Um, Man City, Newcastle, again, maybe more of a challenging game for Newcastle. Um, and then Man City, Fulham... Um, I'm not sure about how Fulham have been playing, but again, could be slightly more challenging. Um, what I'm doing here is just having a little look and seeing if I can guess maybe who has the easier matches over August and who I may uh, back and lay in order to get the most free bets from. Um, but on the balance of things, I would probably go with Man City. What I might do is wait until it's a little bit closer to kickoff. Uh, and then these back and lay odds may get a little bit closer as well. So I can lock in an even smaller qualifying loss between uh, the lay odds for Man City winning and the back odds as well. But whatever you do, you want to place that before everything kicks off. I think the limit on the bet is um, 10th of August. Uh, so you've got until the 10th of August to place that. Looking at the Premier League top goal scorer, that's exactly the same thing. So we're looking again for lower odds to avoid having the liability tied up in the accounts. Harry Kane, probably a great shout after his recent form in the World Cup. Um, there's a few others here, Mohamed Salah at lower odds. Um, and then again, you'd be looking at that market, um, not this one, this one here and uh, just having a look at, at the odds on the exchange as well, the layouts. So 4.2 for Harry Kane, 3.25. That's quite a wide spread as well. Uh, I wouldn't really place a match on that. Let's have a look on Betfair. Yeah, 4.2 for Harry Kane as well. So I would probably hold off on this one uh, right until um, maybe the 8th, 9th, 10th of August until the matches get a little bit closer and I think those lay odds will come down a bit and you'll hopefully be able to get something a little bit better um, and reduce your qualifying loss there. So those are really only the two football season offers out there at the moment that we've seen here at Profit Squirrel. But as I said, look out because more will be coming your way and I'm going to be featuring more and more videos on what you can expect from the football season and how you can profit from it as well. One quick final little tip that I would say to you is get yourself over to the daily offers section on Profit Squirrel and just make sure that you are qualifying for the weekly bet clubs because those are going to be really, really good during the football season. As you can see, there's loads of them 
and they're generally really simple. All you have to do is place enough qualifying bets within a week and you get a free bet. Uh, and there's hundreds of pounds worth of free bets here available. Um, so I would say get yourself signed up to that. And then when you start using these bookmakers to place bets during the football season, completing the other offers, you can also be qualifying for these free bets. So you can complete the price boost or you can complete something like this at William Hill. If I place this £20 back bet on one of these promotions, that goes towards me qualifying uh, for the weekly club. Um, I don't actually think there is a weekly club on uh, William Hill at the moment. Having said that, but uh, the principle is still the same. So like on Skybet, Paddy Power, Coral, uh, Ladbrokes, all of those ones that you might be placing bets on uh, for these sort of football offers, you'll be qualifying for the free bet club as well. So that's it. Let me know how you get on. Have you jumped in on this William Hill offer? Are you waiting? Are you holding off? Are you excited for the football season? Who do you think is going to be the outright winner? Are we going to have another Leicester City shock? Thanks so much for watching. Please drop us a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next vlog video.